This video shows how to design a turned part. Choose File, New, Blank Design to start a new design at the top view. Click the circle button and draw a circle. Set the diameter to 1.5 inches. Set Z to 3 inches, which is the amount of material perpendicular to the screen. Click Zoom to fit to view the full design. Click the Pyramid button to check the three-dimensional view. Choose View, Front, to view the drawing from the front side of the part. The next step is to draw the profile of the part. The profile must be a closed shape to the right of the center line, touching the three sides of the rectangle. Click the Rectangle button and draw a rectangle, snapping it to the corners. Next, We'll add a 0.1 inch square groove. Draw a 0.1 inch rectangle. Snap it to the corner. Set the nudge value to 0.1 inches. Nudge the rectangle down 10 steps. While holding the control keys, select the adjacent line. Click the Intersect button. Delete the unneeded line segments. Next, we'll round the upper corner. While holding the control key, Select the upper horizontal and vertical lines. Choose Line, Corner, Round to round the corner. We'll use the same approach to add a chamfer to the lower corner. While holding the Control key, select the lower horizontal and vertical lines. Choose Line, Corner, Chamfer to chamfer the corner. Finally, we'll add a 0.5 inch hole in the top of the part. Click the Rectangle button and draw a rectangle snap to the center axis. Set the horizontal size to 0.25 inches, the radius of the hole. Set the vertical size to 1.25 inches, the depth of the hole. Snap the rectangle back to the upper left corner. While holding the control button, Select the lines associated with the hole. Click the Intersect button. Delete the unneeded line segments. Select all the lines. Click the Group button to join the lines. Set Z to Revolve. Click the Pyramid button to check the three-dimensional view.